Let's talk Africa, the Africanness of Africa, the beauty, its people, our peculiarities. This is on Zip Stories. I am DS Bello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Unzip Stories, where we come every single time to listen, to learn, to grow, and most importantly, get inspired. Yes, I am your host for today, DS Bello, and I'll be unzipping this story for this week. When I think of the Fulani, I remember the Fulani woman who sells milk. In Hausa, they are called Fulo Menono. (laughs) The Fulanis are the largest nomadic group in the world, and they are popular for their intricate beadwork, traditional clothing, and vibrant culture, and of course, their cows. Fulani women usually use traditional methods of milking cows such as hand milking. Hand milking involves milking the cow directly into the bucket or calabash. This is done by hand using the fingers to pull on the teats of the cow and then squeezing the milk into the bucket or the calabash. This method is still used in many parts of Africa. I'm glad to unzip this week's episode because it is a poem. It's an ode called Birodium, Raw Milk. It was written and composed by Abu Bakr Mohammed Abdul Mumuni from Gombe State, northeastern part of Nigeria. This is one among He's for fully poems that has put him on the spotlights. An eight-line poem. I've started writing for fully poems because I realize the tribe and the culture need me as a poet to write about it. And I'm a type of a person that wants to swim with his root in the sense that I write English poems, I write Hausa poems, and also write to write full full day poems uh, which full full day being my first language and I get to realize that a lot of poets turn blind eye on their own mother tongues own indigenous languages so if we didn't write about our own language what would exactly our future generation will actually get uh, uh, about their own tribe if you notice that a uh, uh, few writings or few works were done on let's say full full day for example so these things and the likes of them are what actually motivates me to start writing full full day poems now his ability to write in full full day makes him the envy of his best, and maybe you too, and me of course, <laughs> sadly. Raw milk. Uh, the perception is really amazing. Uh, because if I say it, I write in full full day, people will be like, wow, like for real man, you really write in full full day. Because I have some of my friends that are still battling to know how to even speak with the language let alone to write about it oh so like i am writing in full full day they were like wow man so like a lot of time people will be like i will come for a tutorial and i will come for this i will i'll I'll come for that and what have you so like the experience is really amazing Ketcham Beldam Jaram Magojam La Dam Denejam Don't fool be get at them, ha be Ted Duno Jam Hop Dam Biratam Dam Jamam Raw and sweet, healing drink, bright and white, Fulani's heritage. Loved by non fulanese served to the guest. It's raw milk. It's healthy.
I would like at this moment to thank Unzipped Stories for unzipping my story to the world. Thank you so much for having me. It's indeed an honor and pleasure. Thank you so very much, Unzipped Stories. Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode. Please remember to always come back right in here to get some dosage of Unzipped Stories Africa. Remember to follow us on our social media handles at Unzipped Stories Africa. Now, the winner of the trivia for last week finally came out. <laughs> Congratulations, Anne McKenzie. She was a winner of last week's trivia. So, so if you're listening to this up until this point, this is this week's trivia. If you've listened to this point, the word is Fulani. So... Come right on any of our social media platforms and comment the word Fulani and you would be eligible for this week's gift. Congratulations in advance. I will see you on the streets of social media once again. Thank you so much for listening. I am DS Bello right here from Nigeria. See you on the other streets. Thank you. Let's talk Africa, the Africanness of Africa, the beauty, its people, our peculiarities. This is Unzip Stories. I am D.S. Bello.